Reporting from the Q Television Center with news from your region. We are the first for news that matters to you locally, regionally, and nationally. This is Q TV News. With your Q Lifestyle News update, I'm Bob Huggins. A call for an independent inquiry into the Bally Murphy murders will be addressed later today by the Secretary of State, Theresa Villiers. The families of those killed want an independent panel modelled on the Hillsborough panel, set up to re-examine the deaths. They have proposed that a former police ombudsman, Nulla O'Lone, should chair the panel. Eight people, including a priest and a mother of eight, were shot dead by members of the Parachute Regiment in August 1971. After an application from the families, the Attorney General directed the coroner to reopen inquests into the deaths in November 2011. There are concerns for the future of over 120 jobs at a freight distribution centre in Molusk. The centre is run by DHL and the Trade Union Unite says there could be further redundancies to add to 100 jobs already lost in the past year. That was caused by a reorganisation of Marks and Spencer's distribution network. Unite fears the remaining jobs are under threat as the lease for the site has been acquired by another company. A former poultry slaughterhouse owner has been jailed for four months. Nigel Wilson was convicted three years ago of nine offences, the conviction coming in his absence as he failed to appear at the court. He appeared at Enniskillen Magistrates Court yesterday, having returned to Northern Ireland from abroad. Investigators found dried and animal blood and by-products infested with maggots at the slaughterhouse at Upper Urn Lakes Poultry in Newton Butler. Well, you can keep up to date by logging on to Q Lifestyle or by tuning in to Q Radio.